Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Thanks for joining me. So, I have an unboxing today. It's not really that big. It's not a lot of stuff. But it did come from Hershner's. I really like Hershner's. Um, is this your first time joining me uh, doing an unboxing? I usually just kind of buy different yarns. Some I've had before, some I haven't. Try them out, tell them about you guys. Or just try them out, tell you guys about them and the company itself. So Hershner's is a good, I, in my experience, I've dealt with them a lot. Um, they're extremely uh, nice company. Never had any problems with them. I've never even had to contact their customer service department that I believe, never. So yeah, I mean, they always, I mean, their yarns are always fine. They send me what I order and I've ordered from them a bunch. So sorry about my kids screaming in there. You know, that's what happens. <laughs> I don't even know why she's screaming. Well, let's go. I just got back from Walmart. So, I was looking at their yarn supply there. My Walmart stinks. So, we're going to do more online shopping. Okay. So, anyway, as you order from Hershner's, let's see. You get uh, magazines and whatnot with it. Their catalog and stuff. Um, let's see. Okay, and then I got price sheet here so I can tell you. I don't know why there's so much price sheets. I didn't even order that much on it. <laughs> it's, du it's doubles. I'm like, I didn't order that much stuff. Okay, first off, I got one of their, uh, um, I bought this before one time. Um, I believe I gave it away though. Um, it's the Hershner's Worsted 8. Um, it's a uh, Afghan kit. Um, and you get four skeins of their yarn. Uh, I'll open it up. Show you. These were uh, eleven ninety six for this kit. That's not a bad price either. I think I had a twenty percent off code at the time too. Well, anyways, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, so this is what comes in them. I think they have like five different kit colors. Um, they each come with four skeins of yarn. Eleven ninety six is what they cost. So the Hershner's Worsted Eight, the eight stands for eight ounces of yarn, and it's not a bad yarn. It's just kind of a regular four uh, medium weight acrylic yarn. Um, but there's four hundred and eighty nine yards, eight ounces, or two hundred and twenty six grams, or four hundred and forty seven meters. Machine wash and dry, made in China. So, like I said, um, it's kind of similar to a Red Heart Super Saver, the yarn is. But I think you get, so you get the four skeins and then you get a uh, pattern for a crochet afghan in it. And like I said, $11.96, so $12 for four skeins. So that's like three bucks a skein. That's pretty good, I think, for having. 408 almost 500 yards in one of those so those are a good deal and they have I think four or five different kits but this one's called chocolate uh, chocolate covered cherry I think of course I like the browns and stuff so that would be the one I chose they all do have the same afghan pattern in it but it's really mainly the yarn that is uh, worth it for $11.96 so $12, you get those four skeins, almost 500 yards in each one. And you get the nice zip bag that you can put your um, afghan in when you're finished. That always helps. So anyways, I got one of those. Good deal for those, in my opinion. But that's how much they are, $11.96. I don't even, I don't know if that was on sale. I think that's just how much they are. Okay, and then I got some um, other yarns that I have had and haven't had. Okay, well, why don't we start with the you know, ones that I have had. So, this is the Ro Red Heart Roll With It Tweed, if you guys are familiar with it. It's a 100% acrylic, um, 5.29 ounces, 150 grams, 296 yards, 271 meters. This collar is called a Violet. So, um... 296 yards that's enough to make a scarf it's classified as a medium weight number four it is very pretty and they have lots of pretty colors in this one 
Um, so on Hershner's, you can find this a lot of places other than Hershner's. So these run $5.99 a piece. I like them. They're a nice, squishy, soft yarn. I have had them in a, in a few different colors. Um, but yeah, very pretty. Did I say it where it was made and stuff? I don't know. This one's made in China. Roll with the tweed. Okay, then I got some Bam Premier Bamboo Joy. Ooh, that's soft. I like that. Is that pretty? That is soft and squishy. I like the soft and squishy. It's my favorite. I like the silky soft too, though. I like them all. Okay, so the Premier Bamboo Joy is 328 yards, 300 meters, 3.5 ounces, or 100 grams. It's a 50 bamboo, 50 acrylic blend, so that's why it's nice and soft. I like bamboo yarns. They're really nice. Um, bamboo, straight bamboo, or uh, bamboo blends, they're all really nice. So it's a, a lightweight three. I would agree with that. Machine wash, coal, lay flat to dry made in turkey the color is called lilac mm, i like it it is pretty 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 i think that's a good price 374 did i even tell you that gosh i got such short-term memory i can't even remember i think it's because i read so much on the label and then i just forget what all i told you it's 374 um a piece okay okay next i got now this is not a new yarn um, but I've only had it one time before. This is the Red Heart Amore yarn. Now, this is almost, I would say it's probably the same <laughs> as Lion Brand Feels Like Butter yarn. It is a very, very soft yarn. If you felt that Lion Brand yarn, um, it is super, super soft. Very, very pretty. It is a 100% polyester yarn, if I'm correct. I should look before I tell you. Um, so it's a medium weight number four, machine wash and dry, 100% polyester, 3.5 ounces, 198 yards or 180 meters, made in China. So uh, this one is called, uh, this is the red one. It's so soft, it's so squishy, but I like the Lion Brand Feels Like Butter. And I knew that this was just like it. That red is very pretty. Red is a very pretty color. Well, in my opinion, I like all colors. So I, would, <laughs> I do. So that's the Red Heart of Moore. And these were $2.99 at Hershner's. It's a pretty good price. Good deal. Good deal. Okay. And now I have... Let's see. I'm going to try to do the yarns that I... Um... This is the Soho Lively. Now, this is a Hershner's brand yarn. Um, it reminds me of uh, Red Heart Unforgettable, if you're familiar with that. It's a robing style yarn. Um, it's nice and soft. It's shiny. It's got a nice shiny uh, tint to it. It says, though, that it's a lightweight three. But it being a roving yarn, it's going to go from like a three to a four. Because they tend to do that, you know, go, go from thick to thin, if you're familiar with those yarns. So it is a 100% acrylic yarn. Uh, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 262 yards per skein. Machine wash, lay flat, made in China. So uh, it's soft and squishy. I like it, just like Red Heart Unforgettable. I think I've had this one other time. It's very pretty. So the color of this one is called Gotham. I think Red Heart Unforgettable has a color called Gotham, but it doesn't. It doesn't look like this one. It's blue. But um, these run. These were two ninety nine when I got them. Good deal, I think. Very good deal. Okay. Now this is another. Um, oh, that's pretty. This is another Hershner's brand yarn. Um, Noble Hill Garden Glory is what it's called. That's pretty. It is a roving style yarn too. You can see roving. It means that it's not like separate plies. It's kind of just all together. 
um, one solid, one solid ply. Um, it's 80 wool, 20 acrylic, hand wash, lay flat, 3.5 ounces, 82 yards or 75 meters. It's a hand wash, lay flat, and it is classified as a bulky number six. That's really, really pretty. Made in China. So it does have wool in it, but it's not itchy wool. I would, I mean, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with wool. Wool can feel stiff sometimes, but I would wear a scarf made out of this. I think that would be really pretty. It would, I mean, it's not stiff or itchy to where I wouldn't wear a scarf or anything with it. Pretty stuff. Oh, how much is this? $2.99 a skein. Now, there's not a lot of yardage, 82 yards, but it is a super bulky six, so that's probably right on the money with other, with other uh, bulky sixes on the market um, as far as yardage or such price, and that's very, very pretty. This one's called, the color is called Larkspur. I like it. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay. I don't have that many more left. Um, so I got some new ones here that I've never tried. So I've never tried this one before. This is Premier. Oh, that's soft. Anti-peeling bamboo. Like new. Wash after wash. Chunky. If I've ever had this, I can't recall it. But it's a possibility. I've had a lot of yarn run through my fingers in my days. But I don't think that... I've ever had it. Super soft, knitter approved. Well, should say knitter slash crochet approved, but if it's knitter approved, I'm, I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, I trust my knitters. 131 yards, 120 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. So it's 80 acrylic, anti-peeling acrylic, and 20 uh, bamboo. It's classified as a bulky five, machine wash, lay flat to dry, made in Turkey. That's pretty stuff. I like the way it looks. A little, uh, like, heathered color. Like, the yarn's been... Have you ever seen you know, what heather, heathered yarns looks like? That's kind of what this reminds me of. Oh, that's pretty. It's a bulky five. Yes, it is, in my opinion. That's nice. That is nice. Very, very soft. Made in Turkey. What's it called? Anti-peeling bamboo. Um, did I give you the color? $3.99 skein. Not a bad price. Not a bad price. The color I have is called pomegranate. Ain't that pretty? Beautiful. That's that's a nice yarn. I like that one. That might be my favorite so far. Okay, I have another one down here that I have not tried either. I like it too. This is Premier. I, I'm not really good at pronouncing stuff. If you follow me, and I apologize. So, I don't want to butcher this. I'm just going to show you the name. Um, because I can't really pronounce things. As you can tell, it has wool in it because there's hairs, hairs all over it. But... Okay, um, I always say I'm not going to butcher them, and then I try to pronounce them. Shemonix? Shemonix? It's alright. It's alright. You don't even have to tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. I'll look it up later. Anyways, it's nice and soft. Let's see what the fiber content is on this. 80 acrylic, 10 mohair, 20 my, 20, 10 percent polymine. 80 acrylic, 10 mohair, uh, 10 polyamide. So you could tell that mohair because of the hairs that are in it. Um, not at all itchy. Very soft and squishy. Now it's classified as a number two weight yarn. I'm going to say that uh, it probably, it is a finer yarn. Uh, probably between a two and a three. They probably got that classified um, as a thinner three, thicker two. That'd probably be correct. Hand wash, lay flat, um, made in Turkey. The color I have here is plum. Did I? There's 380 yards, 348 meters, 
three ounces or 85 grams. That's pretty. These $3.99 also. Very, very pretty stuff. I know. I smell my yarn. I'm weird. I like to smell the fibers. They're all different. That one's nice. Very nice. So, oh, I got one more in here that I haven't tried. I got this one. One more, which I think is pretty new. Um, this is from Willow Yarns, which is actually a sister company to Hershner's, if you uh, didn't know that. Now, this is the Willow Yarns Cario Cotton. Now, it is 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 311 yards, 285 meters, 60 cotton, 40 acrylic, number four, made in China. Machine wash and dryable. Okay, now when I first saw these on their site, the colors of them all looked like um, Caron cotton cakes. They were all the same colors. Okay, so you can see... Um, um, in the U.S., the Caron cotton cakes are larger. Um, they have a uh, more, a little bit more yardage. Now, Caron cotton cakes are 100% cotton. Even though the colors are the same, this has uh, acrylic in it, so they are softer than the Caron cotton cakes. I I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were going to be very similar to the Caron cotton cakes and they are to a certain extent but they are a lot softer it's very pretty it's very pretty so um these are these weren't cheap willow yarns really isn't a cheap yarn company if you ask me but um they have very very nice yarns um this was $8.99 a little pricey um in my opinion but Willow Yarns, like I said, is a very nice yarn company. It's like, like I said, it's a sister company to Hershner's, but I think it's more, um, they have more, more expensive yarns, I guess. I don't know, but I, I, I like, I like the company. I love Willow and I love, I love Hershner's. So this is nice. This really was, um, not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little bit rougher than what it is, but I guess since it has that acrylic in it, it made it. A lot softer the color I have here is called tropical river but if you go on willow site and look up this carry cotton you and if you're familiar with Carolina cotton cakes you'll be able to tell that the colors are exactly the same as the cotton cakes and that's why I thought it was gonna be the same but no it's a lot softer than that it's a nice uh, cotton acrylic blend very nice so that's that's it that's it so I got to try some new things here <clears throat> that I hadn't had before this one I've had the Amore before. I had this before. Nice and Soft Bamboo Joy from Premier. I liked that one. I like the Garden Glory. Very pretty. I think that would make something gorgeous. Um, and these two were really, really nice. But I think my favorite has to be the Premier Anti-Peeling Bamboo as far as softness goes. Uh, Value-wise, it's 131 yards, but it is a bulky 5, 399. I don't think it's bad on Hershner's. It's nice, nice and soft. I like this one. I could squish it all day. Squish, squish. That's it. That's my haul. Wasn't a lot, but you know, it was some different yarns that I hadn't tried before. And now I know about them. So, uh, thanks everybody for uh, joining me. I'm always happy that you uh, guys like to watch my videos. And uh, hope you had a good time. I always worry I bore people, but. I can't do nothing about it. I just talk about the yarn and that's it. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, and you keep a lookout for my next video, whatever that might be. Bye-bye everybody.